all autonomous retrotransposons share the following features. They have a promoter in the 5' prime UTR from which they can be transcribed. They all require the activity of a reverse transcriptase that will generate a cDNA copy of the transposable element. They require the activity of an RNase H, an endonuclease that degrades the transcript after reverse transcription. And they require the activity of an integrase, an enzyme similar to a transposase, that catalyzes the insertion of the retrotransposon copy at insertion sites. As already noted, non-autonomous retroelements or retroposons lack these genes but get their protein products from the activity of an autonomous retrotransposon. There are two basic mechanisms of retrotransposition. These are extrachromosomally primed retrotransposition, which is characteristic of LTR retrotransposons, and target primed retrotransposition, characteristic of non-LTR elements. As we look at these mechanisms in more detail, remember that autonomous retrotransposons encode the activities they need for transposition, and the activity of autonomous retrotransposons will be required for the mobility of those non-autonomous retrotransposons or retroposons, such as the signs.